I'm sure you're familiar with this beautiful composition. It sounds beautiful until this part comes. And this is where the struggle begins, where you have to play the triplets against the eight notes. If you have recently started to play the piano and it might be the first polyrhythmic passage you have to deal with, you might be experiencing these problems. And I'm gonna show you two ways to practice this. In the first one, your body will help you to memorize this rhythm. And in the second exercise, we will be using a magic sentence to help us playing these two different rhythms at the same time. Let's play an A major chord. The right hand is playing three notes, A, C sharp and E. The left hand is playing two notes, an A and an E. And please do a circle movement while playing this exercise. So we start here and the hands do this circle movement. So we feel the downbeat better. One, two, one, two, and now squeeze three notes. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. Now we will start playing triplet in the right hand. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. As you see, the downbeat is played together. So it's very important to feel this. One, two, three, one, two, three. The same is when you're playing the eight notes in the left hand. And now let's try playing this together. Don't be sad if it doesn't work right away. The reason we are doing this exercise is to help you to feel that the downbeat is played together. You feel the pulse better, you see that the first note is played together and eventually your body and the movements of your body will support you while playing this polyrhythmic passage. But here comes the second exercise, which will work right away, I promise you. As I said earlier, you need to pay attention to the downbeat or to the first note in the triplet and in the eight note group, which should be played together. This is the one, so this is the one, and this is the one. They will be played together. Together, together, together. As you see, the second note in the triplet group is played here. So right after both hands are playing together, the second note of the triplet group comes. And then, in this case, the left hand is playing the second eighth note. So together, right, left, right. Yeah, let's make it this way. Together, right, left, right. Together, right, left, right. Together, right, left, right. Together, right, left, right. And there is a wonderful sentence which can be very helpful for you in this case. It is one cup of tea. The first note is played together. Then as the right hand, left hand and the right hand. One cup of tea, one cup of tea, one cup of tea. You can also try this sentence with the exercise we did before. Try it in the right hand, uh, fifth in the left hand. One cup of tea, one cup of tea, one cup of tea. And you can also do it faster. One cup of tea, one cup of tea, one cup of tea. 
don't forget to change the hands. So now the left hand is playing a triad and the right hand is playing a fifth. because the triplets might also happen in the left hand and the eight notes in the right hand. So be prepared to all kinds of problems. But I think it will not be a problem anymore after you know this hopefully very helpful advices how to practice the triplets. But coming back to our magical sentence, let's see how we can practice the arabesque using one cup of tea. So this is the passage. And I would recommend you start practicing here, right from this E together, right and left hand together, right, left, right, together, right, left, right, together, right, left, right, together, right, left, right. Of course, the tempo is super slowly and it is not the tempo you will eventually be playing this. But you have to understand how it works and then you can increase the tempo. Together, right, left, right, together, right, left, right. One cup of tea, one cup of tea, one cup of tea, one cup of tea, one ta 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 ta. There are so many gorgeous compositions where you will need to play the triplets against the eight notes. So it's better you solve this problem right away and never have to deal with this again. Or you will deal with this, but you will be enjoying the process and not struggling with this. So good luck with practicing and please let me know in the comments how it goes. Mm -hmm.